Game Maker How To. Select weapons with ammo and visually draw it onto the screen so you actually can see your selected weapon and see the ammo that's left in it. This is a continuation off of two other videos, Weapon Select with Ammo. So you may want to pop and watch that one first. Anyways, where we left off, we had the player and we had them, uh, they could press the W key, they could cycle their weapon, and you could hit the space bar and it chose the weapon, checked if they had ammo, and fired. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to a draw object to visually show what the player could do. So let's go do that. So you'll see here my global variables that I had made that I'm using. Selected tells me what they have selected. And then I have the three different ammo variables. I'm just going to use those in a draw object and draw out the sprites so I can uh, see what's going on. So this object called draw here, it's pure job. Nothing in it yet is going to be to draw stuff for me. So it's already in the room. I'm going to add an event. The draw event is where we do all our drawing. And let's go to control here. And let's put some code. Now, right off the bat, what I'm going to do is something you don't have to do, but I'm going to set the color to black. So when I draw my text, it's black. And I'm also going to do something called the horizontal and the vertical alignment. What this is going to let me do is actually let me sort of pinpoint exactly where the stuff is a bit better. So when I give it an XY location, those sprites in the text are drawn centered and right in the middle of that position. If you actually use these quite a bit, I find they actually help you draw stuff out. Uh, the positioning is a bit easier. Now let's go for our uh, questions and our drawing of the weapons. Basically what you have to do here is you have to ask a bunch of if statements. So I'll just ask if global dot selected is zero, I'm going to draw out, draw sprite, and the draw sprite command lets you draw a sprite out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that sprite of the arrow. So sprite arrow, sub image is what frame of the sprite you want to draw. If your sprite is not animated, you can just leave this negative one, which means I don't care. Just draw the thing. X and Y, let's make up a good location here. I'll go 100 and uh, near the top of the screen. So I'll do something like 20. You know what? I'll put this at 400. It'll be nice and centered. 420. If global dot selected is 1, you know what? To be efficient here, I should make that a little else if. Draw a sprite. Now I'm going to fast forward for you. And you see I draw them all in the same spot. That way whichever one they have selected is going to be in the right spot. Now what you notice here is I haven't drawn how much ammo. Okay, I'll just sneak that in after. But let's give this one a little test and see what happens. Keep in mind, I have added into the room. There's the draw object, right? So it is there. Now I hit the W key to cycle, and you can see here it's drawing my weapon. Now if you wanted to take your time and do this properly, it'd be nice if it had a border and a little frame and all that stuff, right? But you know, that's what you do when you're doing your good, good version. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, seems to work fine. Now let's take care of the ammo that goes along with it. Really all you have to do for the ammo is we're just going to be adding an extra line of code here. Draw text. And I'm just going to go, uh, it wants an XY position, so let's draw it at 400. I'll try to draw this underneath it. So let's go for 40. And I want to draw out the variable global dot ammo arrow. And so that way, whoops, I forgot one bracket there. And so convert that variable to a string for the drawing, and it should draw right underneath it. Now, if I keep doing this, I'll just fast forward again. Okay, there's our fast forward with all those done. Let's check out if that works. Keep in mind, this is sort of an ugly version, right? But there's my five arrows. As I cycle through, you know, it tells me how much I have. 
Now, if you actually want to see all your weapons at once, we do have a little video called Draw Inventory 1 that actually you could see all your items at once. The problem is that takes up a lot of space if you have a lot of different uh, weapons and defense weapons, right? This is sort of a nice one, very quick. For most gamers, that's a nice visual, right? What they can use. That's where we're going to end this one. Now, some of you may be saying, wow, that's a lot of typing. If I have 25 weapons, i got to type all 25 of those things out. Um, well, this is one way to do it. There's actually another way that uses a programming uh, structure called arrays. And I'm going to have a video on that one. And that one's called Weapon Select with Ammo Draw Arrays. Or it'll be something better named than that. But there's another one out there. It'll actually show you how to shave a lot of code off of this using arrays. So really, you can do this. If you had 20 weapons, instead of taking 20 screens, you could actually probably do it in just the three, four lines. So uh, watch out for that video. We'll call it a Weapon Select Advanced. That's a good name. Thanks for watching. See you next time.